Okay, so hello everyone. Today we're going to be installing Android to our EEMC directly without a USB adapter. First, we're, the first thing that we're going to be needing is our hardware. So for hardware, we will be needing a jumper. In case you don't have a jumper, you can do as I did. This is a cable. It's female on both sides. It's also used for GPIO and I had it extra from a project I did on my Raspberry Pi. So I had them laying around, use them. You will be needing a USB to type C cable. If you do not have one, you can also do like me. You can get some adapters. They're very cheap. They go anywhere between 30 cents of a dollar, US dollar to, I don't know, I guess that you can spend whatever you want, but they're really cheap. So that's on the hardware side. Remember, this is a video that's based on the guide that you will find on the link below so first read the guide then see the video they really both work work both together if you only see one or only read the other you might not get it uh, this will be serving as a visual purpose and the other one so that you can get a better idea of what you're doing okay, okay so this is the software that you're gonna be needing to download you can find the link down in the description to the forum page where you will find the links once you've downloaded them try to keep them somewhere that you can find them easy install the drivers and let's hop into the board okay so first thing that you need to do on your board is disconnect everything take off the power take off the hdmi everything that you have connected to it disconnect be very sure to take off the micro sd if you have one just take it out just only leave your EEMC next to the EEMC right after that you can see that there are two pins those are the two pins that you're gonna short in the video you, you can see it's something black with some silicon on top of it it's the same cable I just made it shorter so those are the pins that you're gonna short once it's shorted connect the USB type C the power now you should see it appear on your Android tool once you check that it's detecting something, whatever, be it a mass room or an ADP, then you take out the short pin. Once you take out the short pin, you will see that the device name will flicker. It should be on mask room. If it's not on mask room, repeat the process. If it flickered and it's still on mask room, mask room then you can start to, to flash the device. So your Android tool should have been open since before connecting the Type-C to your board. Once it's connected, it should throw you a, a ID. In this case, I get a one mask from device. You can get another type. As long as it's connecting, that's fine. You take out the short pins or the jumper, whatever you have and then it should flicker once it flickers you start to process you select the image as you just saw some seconds ago it takes a while to load once it's lo loaded you go to upgrade and then it should go it should start you should you shouldn't have any problem sometimes it does stop you just do it again here i fast forward forwarded it it takes like about five minutes for the whole flash so just be patient okay so once it's finished you can see it says there it's a success so just wait a few seconds so it restarts itself again once it rest restarts it will show again a device and once that de that device is shown you can disconnect your board and connect it to wherever destination you have planned to work in okay so this is the first start so at the at the beginning it will detect a signal it will take like a minute or two to detect it since it's starting 
once it really starts you will see the Android logo coming up it will still take another few minutes so if you don't want to be like holding your breath just do something else while it starts and here we are we got our our Android installed so the image comes with a 1024 times 600 resolution and you can see I got some overscan I'm planning to fix that on the next video or show you how to fix it on the next video so as you can see here the, the corners aren't right either side there's the overscan and it really looks bad on this on this resolution so hope you see the next video on how to fix this if you know that already well that's great see you see you next time Did I give up? Was it too hard? Or was it too hard? Cause I just gave up Just gave up